So I get quite a few DMs from people thanking me for wearing my clothes more than once, which is absolutely wild that that's something we're thanking anyone for. I'm not sure where the concept of outfit repeating being a bad thing even came from. Perhaps we can trace its roots to when Kate Sanders called Lizzie McGuire an outfit repeater in the Lizzie McGuire movie. But I mean, nonetheless, if you take a look at my Instagram, you'll know that outfit repeating isn't something that I care about at all. <laughs> in fact, it's kind of something I enjoy because if I looked sexy in the outfit the first time, I'm also gonna look sexy in the outfit the second, third, and fourth, and you'll all be so lucky if you get to see it on me more than once. In all seriousness, it would be weird to not wear your clothes more than once. And also, in my opinion, it kind of ruins the fun of fashion in the first place. Half the fun of getting dressed is figuring out new ways to style old pieces, figuring out how to take one sweater and pull several different outfits from it. To wear an item of clothing only once would not only be depriving us all of seeing a good outfit more than once, but it also takes away the very thing that makes fashion so much fun, which is creativity. So today I've got this purple Revenge of the Ted sweater from Teddy Fresh, which I have been absolutely in love with lately. And I'm gonna style it a few different ways because alpha repeating is not only a good thing, it's a whole goddamn way of life, baby. But first, some good news. You've made it onto the naughty list, baby. And not just any naughty list, my naughty list. Because fuck that Santa guy. Who gives a fuck about his list? This video is sponsored by my friends over at Blessa and we're hooking up every single one of you that signs up to be on my naughty list. If you guys don't know who Blessa is, where the fuck have you been living? And you have a lot of videos of mine to catch up on. <laughs> Blessa is my go-to spot for anything and everything female sexuality. They're where I buy all of my vibrators, where I watch all of my porn, and just overall, one of my absolute favorite companies to work with. And Blessa doesn't fuck around with the giveaways, okay? <laughs> Blessa and I are hooking up every single person who signs up to my naughty list with free vibrators, exclusive discounts, gift cards, and so much more for the entire month of December. All you've got to do is sign up with the link in the description of this video and you'll be receiving gifts in your inbox throughout the entire rest of the month. Let's see what I've got in my Blessa stocking. Oh, what's that? My favorite vibrator? Now I try not to have favorites, you know, a mother loves all of her children. But this one, I might love a little bit more than the others. <laughs> this is the Pebble from Belessa. I don't shut the fuck up about this vibrator. And for good reason. If you've never used a suction toy, you've got to get in there and try one. Yeah. <laughs> this little bitch fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, you'd think she's too small to be so mighty, but she is fucking perfect. There is nothing wrong with her. I've tried many a suction toy. And like, vibrators are vibrators, right? I love all of them. <laughs> but this one is something else. Before this one, I had only ever used suction toys that are exclusively suction toys. This one is not only a suction toy, but it also vibrates. So we've got, there's the suction. Love it. Surround sound. <laughs> now we've got some vibrations going on with the suction, okay? Your boyfriend can't do that. He can't. <laughs> Fuck your boyfriend. Sign up for my naughty list. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. We've got an air vibe. Who would have ever guessed? You're looking to try a suction toy that also has some G-spot action. Air vibe is gonna be your girl. So if you've been thinking to yourself, you know what? I really need another vibrator because I forget to charge mine all the time. And so if I have more, one of them's bound to be charged. <laughs> Treat yourself this holiday season, bitch. And if you do not own a vibrator, mama, uh, this is a demand. I demand you to prioritize your orgasms and sexual pleasure because you need a vibrator. <laughs> and the best part about Belessa is that their shipping is 100% discreet. So if you're worried about someone seeing on your credit card statements or in the mail that you ordered a vibrator, they're never gonna know. The package will say that it came from Containers Plus. Literally, it's just gonna look like a random Amazon package. It could be fucking anything. Belessa's just the absolute fucking best. And like I said, working up every single person who signs up to be on my naughty list. So all you've gotta do is head to the link in the description down below, input your email, and then check your inbox within a couple of minutes and you should see your first gift arrive and then keep checking over the rest of the month because you're gonna be getting more than one gift baby i hook all of my bitches up <laughs> santa who that's right bitch maddie claus is here doesn't quite roll off the tongue in the same way but that's all right because 
I come bearing vibrators, which is more than Santa Claus and his elves could ever even dream of. First up, let's kick it off with the outfit that was my immediate go-to when I first bought this sweater. This was the first outfit that I thought to style this sweater in. We've got some baggy pants from Ray, a super oversized purple jacket from Nasty Gal, and some chunky ass white boots to round out the outfit. This is the baggy on baggy on baggy look, if you will. This is a style that I've totally slept on in the past, but I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think that growing up, I was definitely like a lot of other plus size people, taught to wear a baggy top and tighter fitting pants. It's definitely super common for people to encourage you to wear looser fitting clothing as a plus size person because it's more flattering. A word that I hate to my fucking core, and I'm sure you guys know that as I feel like I sound like a broken record. I say this in so many videos. So I'll make this brief and try not to go into a tangent, but flattering is just the fake nice way of saying this makes you look less fat. It's misguided, shallow, and in my opinion, completely degrades the very excitement of fashion itself, getting to wear whatever the fuck inspires you no matter what it is that you look like. All of that said, I definitely grew up sticking to very specific silhouettes because that's what I was taught growing up and choosing a baggy on baggy on baggy look would not have been one that I ever naturally gravitated towards because everyone would have said that it hid too much of my body. Like, okay, you're only supposed to hide the bad parts of fat on your body, not all the good parts of fat too. Like we wanna see your hips and thighs and boobs and now you've just covered up too much. and. To all of that, I just say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think it's so fun to just wear baggy all around, top to bottom. I think it looks super fucking cool and it's comfortable as well. And I really don't give a fuck if anyone disagrees with me and thinks that my body would look better in something else. Ah! It's not your body, so stop fucking worrying about it. <laughs> so here's your routine reminder to throw out any rules you were taught about your body and how to dress it. And the word flattering is really just one meant to box you into dressing in ways that highlight what the world wants you to look like. My advice is to pay more attention to what you like and wear that instead. Onto my next outfit. You give me any excuse to wear purple on purple and I will take it. I will never say no to a good purple on purple moment. This next outfit, I'm styling the sweater underneath a corset that was totally not made for people with tits of my size, but I don't care. <laughs> I will shove myself into any clothing I want, whether it was made for my body and mind or not. That being said, I would love a larger corset to pair this with. So if you have any big titty corset Rex, please let a bitch know because I'm ready to swipe my goddamn credit card. I paired it with some purple trousers from Big Butt Press and my signature beat up white booties. I love the cool tones of this look and just think it makes the sweater look like an entirely new item of clothing, which I really love. I think I'd love the look more with a different corset entirely and maybe swapping these trousers for my baggy jeans or any type of wide leg pant really, but you sort of you get the idea. I'm definitely gonna try to execute this again a little differently, so be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can see whenever I actually do it. Next up, the reason why winter fashion is so much better than every other season, layering. I've seen so many people making layering 101 videos this year, and I love it because layering is the spice of life. But also, what's so beautiful about layering is that it's like the easiest way to make an outfit seem so much cooler than it actually is. Like you're really not doing that much differently. You're just wearing a lot of clothing at once <laughs> and it automatically makes you look like you put so much more effort into it when really you just like threw on a turtleneck underneath. For this one, I paired the same purple sweater with a sweater vest from Reformation, a mini skirt from Los Angeles Apparel and white booties. I'm still on the hunt for a pleated skirt that fits well because a pleated skirt with this look would be everything to me. Throw on a pleated skirt, leather blazer, call it a day. I think it's simple, but it's also so cute and that's just the beauty of layering, baby. Next, never underestimate the power of a white button up mama. Everyone needs one. I'm wearing the same skirt from Los Angeles Apparel and the same booties as the last outfit, except this time I'm wearing a white button up from a low key underneath instead of a sweater vest on top. I used to absolutely eat the girlies up in high school wearing a white button up under my sweatshirts. I actually have one outfit in particular. The, the collar that I had on my white button up had spikes on it and I was for sure wearing it with like a cropped Rolling Stones sweatshirt on top. I'm sure that I have a video of myself wearing this outfit somewhere. Just think like 
super 2013 Tumblr, like Arctic Monkeys was for sure auto-playing on my blog. So I have long appreciated a white button-up underneath a sweater. It just adds some nice dimension. Next, this is less of a brand new fit and more of just a tip, I guess, which is to tuck your sweater into your bra for a crop without actually cropping. Also, it soaks up all of your boob sweat. <laughs> so uh, that's nice. <laughs> This spices up the sweater more in the way that it looks rather than what it is you're actually pairing it with. You can do the crop version of this sweater and pair it with the purple coat and baggy pants like I did in the first outfit or with the skirt like I'm wearing here, really with anything. The tucking of the sweater into the bra top just changes up the look of the sweater itself. And I think it's also a great move for those transitional periods between seasons as well. Next up, I'm just throwing the sweater on top of a dress and pairing it with some tall boots. Now, we have to talk about these boots for a second because I fucking hate them and this video can't go on with you guys believing that I like these boots because I don't. I just needed tall boots for this look and this was all I had, but make no mistake in thinking that I like them because I do not, okay? The boot makers of the world hate us thick calf bitches. They hate us because what the fuck kind of space are you allowing my meaty calves in these tiny ass boots? I have been on the hunt for tall boots that fit big calves for the last few months and I have continuously come up empty handed. And you know, finally it occurred to me, maybe I should just buy boots from a plus size retailer because surely those boots account for big calves. Surely Plus size retailers have considered the fact that plus size bodies have larger calves and therefore tall boots would need to be wider. Surely they've thought of that. So I bought these bitches on Iloki and I still had to scrunch them down and make them shorter in order to zip it. You see how they're scrunched? They're not supposed to be scrunched. I pushed them like that in order to zip it because it won't fit around my calves. Like, are you kidding me? I don't want slouchy boots. I don't want them, but I have no other option because these damn companies don't want me to wear them. So please, if you have recommendations for truly meaty calves, I'm talking full turkey leg meaty calf. I need to find them and I'm looking for them. So if you know a place, let me know because I've been disappointed one too many times and I just need knee high boots that are loose around the knee. Not skin tight, not slouchy. I want the same look as these other bitches. I want them to fit over my calves. Is that too much to ask? Next up, Princess Diana, is that you, mama? You know, I had to do it. A classic bike short turtleneck sweater moment. This is truthfully how I will probably wear this sweater most often. It's just the cutest way to run your little errands, do your little dumb tasks. My bike shorts are from Girlfriend Collective. My turtleneck is from Eloki, and I just threw on some white Nike sneakers because those are the shoes I keep by my front door. It's effortless. She's making a quick coffee run, but it's also so cute cute, cozy, and the sweater is fucking cool, so it kind of carries the whole outfit on its own, which is the beauty of finding a kick-ass piece of clothing. And lastly, how about we do a little saving it for later moment? I would normally say that tying a sweater around your shoulders is a little too nice girl for me, and I'm a bitch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but paired with a head-to-toe lavender moment, I think it's a look. I think it's like, she's a nice girl, but she's also fully committing to one color and one color only, and for that, she's fucking terrifying. So it's balance, right? It's all about balance. A good outfit is about balance. And some might say this outfit doesn't do that and they would be wrong for it. I've got my purple checkered pants from Ray, a purple long sleeve crop top from Urban Outfitters, and of course my Teddy Fresh sweater tied around my neck, which is surprisingly a little difficult to get in a good spot if you have tits. But once you shimmy it in the right position so that it one, doesn't look like I'm wearing a cape, and two, looks normal in terms of where it's sitting on my boobs, this is a look. It just is. Obviously there's so many other ways you can wear one sweater. You could throw it under a dress, over a dress. You could add even more layers than I did. I'm just fucking sweaty and honestly was sweating while I was filming this entire video anyways. You could throw a tank top over it, anything you want. And that's the beauty of finding an item of clothing that you really love. So moral of the story here is outfit repeating is not only a necessary thing, but it's a great thing. You should be shopping to find items that you love so much, you'd be excited to wear them a hundred times over. And I hope you all find that item of clothing that you love that much. Kind of like the way that I love my green swirl. 
pants if that wasn't fucking obvious. <laughs> I hope you all find something you love that much. Truly and honestly, I hope you do because my heart beats for my green squirrel pants. And I hope you alpha repeat for the rest of your goddamn life because I sure as fuck will. So be sure to follow me on Instagram and watch it happen. I love you guys so much. That's it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye.